Today we are going to talk about Udaga Mandalam, popularly known as Uti. Located in the Western Ghats, Uti encapsulates lofty mountains, incredible lakes, dense forest, sprawling grasslands, and endless stretch of tea plantations. The hill station itself is a land of mesmerizing places, which explains why it is called as Queen of the Hill Stations. Hey guys, welcome back to Sakri Cubes, and this is Sagar. If you have watched 90s films, then definitely you'd have seen Uti in so many movies, including Bollywood and regional movies. Uti was a trending tourist attraction back in the days when Instagram, TikTok, or even Facebook was not there. All thanks to the influence of film industry that boosted Uti's tourism. Many years passed, and Uti still continues to be one of the top trending destinations in India. But the question is, is it worth the hype? And the answer is yes. Whether you are planning to visit Uti with your family, with your friends, or with your life partner, Uti is not going to disappoint you. Uti is listed among the top destination for honeymoon seekers in India. Uti is one of the most beautiful hill stations you don't want to miss. This magical place will make your holiday a memorable one. But there is just one problem. Because of its popularity, Uti can get too much crowded at times, and you might feel it is overcommercialized at few places. For that reason, I have also included few lesser-known places where the crowd is less and the views are incredible. There are endless number of places to see in and around Uti, among which we will talk about top 15 places to visit in Uti. To make this video simple, I have divided them into four sections. The first section covers attraction at the heart of Uti. The second section covers places on Paikara route. The third section covers places on Kunur route, and the last section covers places on Avalanche route. Make sure you watch till the end as I will be sharing few tips to help you plan better. Let's dive deep into our list of top 15 places to visit in Uti. Uti Lake is one of the most tourist thing you can do here. This is a man-made lake that was built originally for fishing purpose, but now it is one of the most visited places in Uti. It is even listed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Boating in Uti Lake is a must. There are various types of boat services you can choose from. You can go for motorboat, rowboat or pedal boat. My recommendation would be to try pedal boat to get most out of your time at Uti Lake. Pedaling in Uti Lake is one of the most romantic experience you can have here. For kids there are so many gaming options available which they will love for sure. Whether you are a garden person or not, when in Uti, you must visit at least one garden. Because of Uti's high altitude, you will see so many varieties of flowers which is very rare to find elsewhere. Uti Botanical Garden is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful gardens I have seen. It is spread over 55 acres and you need a lot of stamina to cover the entire garden. Connecting dots to film industry, Uti Botanical Garden has been featured in so many songs. It is a great spot for relaxing and enjoying time with your family. You can also visit Rose Garden and Thread Garden if you have enough time. Dodabeta literally translates to Big Hill. As the name suggests, this is the second highest peak in South India. Because of its high altitude, the temperature here would be usually very low. Even during peak summer, the temperature could be as low as 12 degrees. From here, you can see panoramic view of the surrounding landscapes. At the center, there is a telescope house, from where you can have a closer look at few of the well-known places. After enjoying scenic views from this peak, you can also visit Tea Park, which is close to Dodapetta Peak. Here you can enjoy the surrounding mountain ranges, grab a cup of tea, and walk inside the tea plantations. Tea is an essential part of every Indian household. When in Uti, you will get a chance to understand the journey of tea from tea leaves to the tea in your cup. There can be no better place to learn more about tea than the Tea Factory Museum. 
there are so many replicas of tea factory museum in Uti. My recommendation would be to visit the original one which is shown in this video. Here in this tea factory museum, you can see the process of tea manufacturing and at the end of the tour, you will be served a hot cup of tea as a complimentary. Stone House is the first bungalow that was built in Uti back in 1822. This place is now converted into a museum. The museum has a remarkable collection of objects from different tribes who used to live in this area. Among these tribes, Toda tribe is one of the well-known tribe here. One interesting thing that I saw in this museum is, they have displayed wide variety of birds and animals which are usually found here. These specimens are reconstructed using the original skin of the dead animals. It looks so realistic when you see it from your own eyes. Paikara Falls route is one of the filmiest thing you can do in Uti. Why? Because here you will come across different shooting spots that are featured in hundreds of movies. On this route, the first destination you will come across is the pine forest. This is a beautiful place with hundreds of pine trees giving it a filmy look. There have been so many movies shot here. If you walk to the end of this pine forest, you will be greeted with a stunning view of Sandy Nulla Lake. Be careful about your belongings as this place is overcrowded with monkeys that will snatch your bag in search of eatables. You can try horse riding here if you like. In fact, you will find horse riding at almost all the spots on this route. After Pine Forest, you can visit Wenlock Dawn's nature trail which is also called the 9th mile shooting point. Wenlock Dawn's nature trail is spread over 80 acres of lush green landscapes. This is one of the biggest attractions in Uti as the landscapes are so beautiful that you will feel you are in a film itself. It is a perfect place for all those songs that we have seen in the movies. Just after the Paikara Dam, you will find a signboard for Paikara Waterfalls. From the main road, you will have to walk about half a kilometer to reach the Paikara waterfalls. You can also avail buggy service for which you will have to pay a charge of Rs 20 per person. After walking for 5 to 10 minutes, you will reach Paikara waterfalls. Here you can enjoy the beautiful view of the Paikara waterfalls. Getting into the water is not allowed here. Around 2.5 km from Paikara waterfalls, you will find Paikara Lake and Boathouse. This is one of the most beautiful lake you can find in Uti. Boating here is one of the most thrilling experience to have. You have two boating options available here. The first option is a normal boating which offers about 20 minutes tour and the second option is a speed boat which is just 10 minutes but at a very high speed. The speed boat is expensive but offers thrilling experience. Who doesn't remember the iconic Chaya Chaya song from Delse? What if I tell you the train on which the entire song was shot is actually on the Uti toy train? Would you believe it? I know it's very exciting to see all those scenic views from your own eyes. Uti toy train is a must do thing when you are in Uti. This Nilgiri mountain train runs between Uti and Methupalayam via Kunur. The route is 46 km long and goes through 16 tunnels, 208 curves and 250 bridges. The ride in this beautiful toy train is unmatched to any other train ride. It will pass through lush green landscapes and breathtaking Nirgiri mountain ranges. Previously, this toy train used to run on a steam engine but now it has been replaced by a diesel engine. On this route from Uti to Methupalayam, the best entry is offered between Kunur to Methupalayam. We can refer to the train timings shown on the screen. If you feel Uti or even the shooting points on Paikara route is too much crowded, 
then Kunur would be the best place for you to visit. It is not only less crowded but also offers breathtaking views of the Nilgiri mountain ranges. Sims Park is located in Kunur. It is one of the best park you can visit on your Uti tour. It will be less crowded which makes it better than the Uti Botanical Garden. Sims Park is one of the well-maintained park with wide variety of flowers and trees. You can spend some quality time with the green surroundings. Lambs Rock is one of the most popular places to visit in Kunur. It is around 6 km from Kunur and 23 km from Uti. On your way to Lambs Rock, you will find the best view of the tea plantations. Once you reach Lambs Rock, you will have to walk for about half a kilometer to reach the viewpoint. From this vantage point, you can enjoy the mesmerizing view of the Nilgiri mountain ranges. You can relax for some time here enjoying the view of the valley. Another great place at Kunur is the dolphin nose viewpoint. This place is called so because the viewing deck looks like a dolphin nose. From here you can soak some beautiful view of the surrounding hills. If you observe carefully you can spot the Catherine waterfalls from dolphin nose viewpoint. You can also randomly stop at any of the tea estates and get one of those instagram worthy photo for yourself. There are few more spots like Catherine falls, Wellington lake and Lady Canning's seat which you can cover in Kunur if you have time. If you like to explore the unexplored, then Avalanche and the Emerald Lake are the best places to visit near Uti. These two lakes are next to each other separated by a very thin road. Avalanche Lake was created due to a massive landslide somewhere around 1800s, hence it was named Avalanche Lake. This place is hardly visited by tourists which makes it less crowded and more beautiful. On a clear day, these lakes look stunning with blue water, red soil and green surroundings. Don't forget to try chocolate tea which is pretty famous here. You will get it at all the tea shops. The central part of Uti is very commercialized. You can choose to stay in the outskirts of Uti like Fern Hill and Elk Hill. If you are travelling to Kunur on a car, then I would suggest you to take Uti Dodapetta Kunur route. This is one of the amazing routes with the stunning views of the tea plantations. Uti's handmade chocolates are very delicious. You will get good chocolate at almost every shop in Uti. Modis chocolate is one of the most recommended places to buy Uti chocolates. You can buy good quality aromatic oils, honey and natural spices at Uti. You can buy a variety of tea from Tea Factory Museum at a very reasonable price. If you want to do general shopping, then there are many shops around Uti Lake. The best way to travel in Uti is in your own vehicle. If you don't have your own vehicle, then you can hire cabs for around 2000 rupees to 3000 rupees for the entire day. The third option is to take the shared ride on a minibus. This will cost you just 300 rupees per person. Two wheeler rental are not allowed in Uti, but there are few places where you will get two wheelers on rent for around 800 rupees to 1000 rupees per day. That was my list of top 15 places to visit in Uti. Let me know which is your favorite in the comment section below. If you know any other place that deserves to be on this list, then please let me know in the comment section below. Feel free to ask if you have any question about Uti trip. If you are looking for the best place to visit around Bangalore, then do check out this video on the left. See you in my next video. Until then, keep traveling.